For girlfriends, welcome back. My name is Julie, and the saga of the mouse continues. For our date night last night, James, my darling love, and I had the most romantic time at the IFA country store <laughs> picking out mouse traps and poisons. <laughs> oh my God. So this time we went with uh, these like packets. They're packets that the mouse is supposed to gnaw on because mouse mouse mice like ripping into stuff and these are designed for that so you just kind of place these you don't open them you just place them around which i did and we also gave in and got glue traps which i am not excited about they it, it hurts my heart and my stomach and gag reflex too to have to go to this but this is where we're at you guys know all right but not only that okay this should not be a surprise okay but this is this is where we're at <laughs> let me, let me explain. Guys, we have the neighbor's cat in the house. <laughs> We're keeping it mostly away from me because <sighs> I'm definitely the most allergic, but we have it in the house. It wanted to come in. We're not stealing the cat, but it's in here. I figure if we bring it in for an hour a day, I don't know. Maybe we can inspire and motivate the mice to leave, along with everything else that we're doing, right? But I think you knew eventually it was going to come to this. So Kat is exploring. We've got all this. Well, I'm recording videos. So we've got the tripod. We've got all this stuff because we're working on cleaning out the laundry room to bring in the new washer. Oh, hopefully you saw our little vlog about that. Um, we've got stuff we're trying to get put away from our trip. We're still working on renovating the kids' rooms. I mean, everything is going on right now. It's like smelling the traps. Yeah, is it? Yeah. And we that, have the um, cat. Think... What can I say? <laughs> we're desperate. We are willing to risk our allergies at this point because I mean pick your poison it's one or the other it is one or the other now to address the fact that it is not our cat it is the neighbor's cat and do the neighbors know that it's in our house no but do they know where their cats are like ever I'm gonna say probably not because those cats are roaming around all the time they're like house cats but most days when it's not like bitterly freezing they're out and about and always trying to come into our house so and then like taking naps on our porch. So do I feel bad? No. Will I be careful and make sure that their cat is okay? Yes. Are some of you going to hate on me for allowing the neighbor's cat into my house and letting it do this thing? Absolutely. And I completely understand. I know how passionately so many of you feel about your fur babies and I respect that. But they, they let the cats roam the neighborhood. I don't know how many times I've had to not run over their cats or see them like almost get run over out in the street. <sighs> All of my excuses and rationalizations aside, this is where we're at. This is a time of desperation. Come on back for more of the mouse saga. Here's hoping that between the, the new traps and the cat, we get this stuff done. <laughs>